Greetings in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, Ja Rastafari, Selassie, ever living, ever faithful, ever sure. Welcome to ReggaeTelevisionNetwork.com. We're coming to you live from Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. Another nice hot day where we're at. And uh, we're really happy you're here and we're thankful that this is the Sabbath morning where I encourage everyone to read Psalms 119 to just make their week go well. So I'm really uh, happy to be here coming to you live from ReggaeTelevisionNetwork.com in Scarborough. Now, uh, this morning we're very, very fortunate, very fortunate to have a very special man in the studio. Um, he's a, an original foundation member of the Roots Reggae Music. He's a dub musician, singer, writer, producer, over 40 years in the business and has worked with legends such as Jackie Matu, and uh, he owns his own record label. So I really welcome to the studio this morning, Willie Williams. Welcome, Willie. Yes, give thanks. Thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. Well, give thanks for inviting me. <laughs> hey, Omar. Thank you so much. Well, that's good. Now, um, Willie's going to do a, a, his first song for us because I really think we should start the morning off with good vibes and that's that's Willie Williams. I, I, I first heard his songs in a, in a little exercise studio and when I asked um, this, the, the Chinese lady who was, was, was um, conducting the, the exercise, I said, who is that? She says, it's Willie Williams. And I said, can I get his music? And she said, yes, I can get you his music. So that's when I first bought his CD. So I'm really happy he's here and I'm really glad I can tell the story. So for his first song, he's going to perform for us, Messenger Man.
knows what he knows and knows and that he knows. Said that man must be a fool. Cause I now go stand up in the fire, fire for you. And try to pretend that it's cool. So I have to get this message to you. Message of Man. Tell us, tell us the story behind that song there. Because it's such a, I love that song. Well, it's one of the signature tunes that started out um, a part of my career. And this was done in 1978, mm -hmm. you know. And wow, and it, and it sounds like it's, it could be done right now. Like, right, you know, yeah. that's all right. Well, the music that I try, that I am inspired to do, is music of futuristic value. You know, for, for eternal. The yeah, it's eternal music. We don't just do one day of music. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this music is for the times and it, it, it really transcends time and boundary and everything, you know. It, it just happened, named the happening that is taking place right now, you know. And I see myself using this as a vehicle to express my vision you know to the people and to my people and to all people mm. all over the world of course you know? mm -hmm. and the messenger man um well people dub me that name mm -hmm. even before i did the song so mm -hmm. i decided to pen a song in that respect you know so you have a great message 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 and you you deliver it great and so you are definitely messenger man well that's that's it that's <laughs> the whole thing you know <laughs> that's great Give thanks, you know. <laughs> now another interesting fact about you uh willie williams is that you were born in saint anne's now saint anne's is famous for discovery bay true right but it's also famous because bob marley was born there marcus garvey's was born there yes. and uh next is willie williams what, what's so special about saint anne's that Brings about such greatness. Well, I think Saint Anne, as, as, as one of the focal points in the parishes in Jamaica, where um, it was the original place that the the, the Europeans landed mm -hmm. in Jamaica before their advent in Jamaica, mm -hmm. you know, and all of the things that followed after that. Yeah. But more so, Saint Anne is regarded as a garden parish of Jamaica. Mm. That means you find everything that's grown in the other parishes in in Saint Anne. Really? Yeah. So, and and um, you know, it's it's it's, it's a, a place where um, people still love to come to. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's tourists or whether it's the, the locals of the country. Mm -hmm. You know. So Saint Anne is really a, a parish that that you go and find all people from all different parishes come and settle after oh. a while, you know. The, um, Dungeon Falls is also in Saint right. Anne, so wow. You know, and um, Saint Anne is one of the parishes. It's, it's the first parish or one of the first places in the world that bauxite was discovered. Discover oh. You know, so it have a whole deeper history to it. Sounds special, yeah. 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 Wow, that's great. Yeah. So no one produces such roots greatness. 
Well, as 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 we go way back in in, in the so-called what they call history or his story, <laughs> you know, um, that's that's where all of the, the the main ingredients started out to establish what Jamaica is today. Is today, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I see that the the, the parish has withstand the test of time to mm -hmm. to to still have that repetition. Right, right. Know. Still relevant in, in Jamaica. Still relevant yeah, because yeah. one of the main radio stations that you have in Jamaica that play on the reggae music, mm -hmm. which is the culture of the, the country, mm -hmm. is in St. Anne, mm -hmm. you know. Wow, that's great. I have, I have some pictures that we took when we, we visit, we're going to Dungeon River Falls and we have some pictures we took where they, they have this, this cannon overlooking the ocean. And it's, right. And so that's where the actual the European came in. Right, that's where they landed and uh, came um, on land first, mm -hmm. which is which you rightly said was Discovery Bay, mm -hmm. you know, and um, the rest is history. History. Yeah. <laughs> now there's another there's another thing about you that that was interesting to me. Um, you and Slide Slide Dunbar went yeah. to school together. You were in cl classmates. Yeah, we went to Trenchstone. Is that from Sly and Robbie? <clears throat> from Sly and, and Robbie. Yeah. You know, and um, it's quite, you know, it, I don't know if it's it's faith or what, but we um, we ended up being two of the only um, known or well-known musicians. You have other people who love the music and is in the music business, but as forefront and, and forerunners of the music which is reggae music. Um, we started out in the same class. Mm. We, 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 um, we loved music so much in school that we started to play on the desk <laughs> and imitated the musicians, you know, wow. which would get the tension for in school. So um, it's, 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 it's nothing of newness when we are doing what we are doing. Yeah, it was in you from the yeah, beginning. It was in the beginning, you know, yeah. from, from that time. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's that's the great thing about having that natural talent is that it shows up early. Yeah, yeah. and you know, um, from five year old, my mom used to work with some white people in Jamaica, you know, in St. Dan. Mm -hmm. And this white man was a Canadian. Mm -hmm. And he was the first person who bought my guitar. Wow. At five year old. Wow. So, must have seen something you know, in, yeah. in me as to manifest what it is today. Well, I you know I always say give them give give the white race um, credit. Yeah. They do spot talent, and they are willing to support it in many in many ways. You know what I mean? Because yeah. he saw that talent in this little kid, and he knew that get your guitar and anything can happen after that. Yeah, man, and I, you know as I look on people, I don't look on people as color. Right. You know, I look on people as people guys are creation right. of the creator. Right. You know so. It was just doing work doing that he work. was inspired by right. the crazy to do. Very good. Yeah. Well, that's telling me. Well, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> that's good because you see a lot of us. See, I'm just I'm just saying because sometimes in in many ways we stifle the young. You know, because True. because when we, when when we're little kids, it's like kids should be seen and not heard. Right. Of course, they should be heard. How are they going to be heard if they, if they don't they're gonna talk if they can't be heard? Right. I think you that was that, that think that was just like a slave mentality. Well, yeah, but a yeah. lot of us are still in that place, still, so we have to yeah. kind of get out of there and yeah. allow the youth to express themselves and allow True. the youth to really grow, True. nurture it when you see it, right. recognize it, and support it. Right. You know, so that's what I'm talking about. I mean, really. Supporting the youth, yeah, that's because they are the future. It is, you know, they I give that guy credit for yeah. spotting you so early, and here you are. Right. Yeah. Um, give thanks. Yeah. That's why I love youth and love to yeah. encourage them. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Whatever. You, you, you support the youth, and you open up the future. Yeah, man. That, yeah. But, but the youth is the future. Yeah. You know? So if you, if you, if you try to hold that back, that means you hold back the future, and, and you, you kind of stifling your own self. That's also, right. You know. That's right. You got you got you got to let the, the 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 talent and all that natural you know um, desire and, and, and yearning materialize. Right. And then you see these wonderful little things come up to be really great people. True. Like my firstborn son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. You remember, you know, this little baby that was born, and here he is. He's you know, he's helping you to, to deliver a dream. Yeah, man. So it's 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 kind of it's kind of nice when you support the youth. It, of course, it is, and we're supposed to do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Now, um, 
you um you said you said in, you, your, your life changed after your father passed away right right because you know when we lose a parent is really hard mm -hmm. but you said your life changed so how did how did that happen what, what happened well in, in general you know as as any child you know growing up and having uh, a parent mm -hmm. or your guard you know whoever mm -hmm. that that nurture you mm -hmm. and take care of your every move mm -hmm. your everything you know mm -hmm. and then suddenly that's gone you know yeah it was left as a void in in my life right but at the same time i i didn't sense that it was strengthening me to do what i am doing today mm -hmm. because maybe um my father being around or my dad being around um maybe i'd be something else mm -hmm. you know uh, because sometimes parents force children into being what they see them as or would like them to be mm -hmm. and, and not nurturing the thing that they the were natural. created to be to be you right. know right so but um yeah I, I love my parents very much and mm -hmm. of course you know when both of them passed away but it was it left a void in my life because yeah. that was i was you know family oriented you know but it's fortunate to have really good parents because it makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it does. Yeah. It yeah. does. And, I, you know, I challenge all the parents out here to, yes. to really look after them children and, yes. and to nurture them and make sure, you know, they come out to be something Absolutely. great and good, you know? Yes, yes. yes. Nurture the good in them. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah, well, that's that. So we can't talk about your dad without talking about your mom. You know, your mom, you know, she, did she... Did she live for a long time? Did she? Well, my mom just passed away like about four or five years ago. Uh -huh. She was she was ninety eight year old. Wonderful. Yeah, and <laughs> um, she was my bridget, my friend, my uh, confidant, my uh, you know. And um, a matter of fact, about a year before my mom passed away, uh -huh. she we always collaborated in making songs, you know. Wow. Yeah, and she. I have on an, an, an video where I was. My mom had this song she wanted to give it to me and she gave me the bass line and the whole thing, you know, at 90, she was about 90, 96 year old. Wow. And she was playing the bass line with her mouth and <laughs> singing the song and said, this, you must do this song, you know. Really? Which I, I eventually went into the studio and, and did the song. And, you know, we have other people who my mom um, nurtured in that too, mm. because like, um, I, I didn't even realize until one day when my mom passed away and, um, Michael Rose from Black Uhuru. Really? You know, he's a family member too and he came around to the house and he said to me, Boy, mom's gone, eh? mm. And she used to give me some nice tune, you know. <laughs> <laughs> because she always liked that, you know, when someone she comes and she's always singing and she's joyful, you know. Oh, well, yeah. no wonder she lives until 98. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. So she was a sweet person. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, I, I, need, I, need to, I need to take a sweet person to raise a, a hard full man. So tell me, um, did she, how did she feel about you being arrested? Was she... Well, my mother didn't have any reservation when it came to me being arrested because my mother was a spiritual person from day one, you know? Okay. Um, she was a herbalist and she always helped people, you know, keep well and thin, wow. you know, in our community. Uh -huh. And when I she see me, you know, start doing this work and mm -hmm. taking on the, 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 the personality that I am. Yes. She said to me, like, you know, I really, I vision you as that because from she was pregnant to me, she had this vision <laughs> where, you know, she had like some people come to her and was, um, you know, telling her about this birth when I was supposed to be, you know. So she always um, tell me about that, you know. So when I start to naughty, you know, yeah. it, it never come like nothing to her. She, she just look at me and say, you know, I know you're going to be like that. <laughs> I don't know to the fullness of it, you know, but seeing what you are now, you yeah. know, because we didn't change. It, the, 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 it's just a feature change, yeah. but the inside was the same. Of course. Yeah. Well, in fact, it gets more, you know, connected, it gets more passionate it gets more loved right and, and and part of my upbringing and what i am today is mm -hmm. that was nurtured by my mother also because Absolutely. my mother was a, a, a person who used to go out and have meetings and 
play a drum and everything there, and, you know. Wow, she played for the Lord, didn't she? Yeah, she worked you know, hard for him. Yeah, so <laughs> she was that kind of individual. So spiritually, mm -hmm. she was um, one of the individuals who helped to enlighten me mm -hmm. as as to what you know what spirituality was all about. Absolutely. And not not a religion. Not a know? religion. Yeah, a, it's a heart and a mind and a soul, everything involved. Right. Great. You know. Oh, well, see, we have something in common in that way a little bit, because my, my grandfather, who I never got to know, right. um, he was called Dr. Morris because he used to heal people, right. you know, with herbs and, you know, his know-how of nature. Same thing with my mom. See, there you yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. kind of, that's that kind of the, the Rasta trait. It's, 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 it's natural, it's nature, it's close to the body and soul and heart and mind. Yeah, mom. Because in my neighborhood, everyone does call my mother, grandma. Grandma. You know? Yeah. Ah, that's because great. Yeah. as anyone feels sick and they can sometimes the doctor can't help them to everyone come to grandma. Mm -hmm. Grandma get a little thing, some bush and set up <laughs> set them up on the gun again and feel good. <laughs> wow, that's that's you know? really that's really nice to have that kind of background and that kind of uh, you know upbringing. Because I find that my my eleven years that I spent in Jamaica yeah. is like um, it's it's like I felt like I was in a cocoon where I was like nurtured in this little safe place just to be natural to be yourself and now i look at it now and i say it's such a gift True. to have that kind of you know place to grow up in where you're close to nature you you watch the birds you see everything that moves yeah natural natural yeah. you know so that 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 is a sweet thing about jamaica many sweet things about well yeah. that's one of the nice things yeah, man. love it you know well you know what um at this time of course you're going to perform another song for us and this is and this is called um this is this um, Armageddon Man. No. And I know uh, Armageddon, Armageddon Time, time yeah, yeah. but you're also known as Armageddon Man, and we'll talk about that after you, you sing the song. Yeah. So for our second song from Willie, we're gonna be uh, hearing Armageddon Time. All right. All right. A lot of people won't get no supper tonight Still a lot of people going to suffer tonight Cause the battle is getting hotter In this iration There's some ugly A lot of people won't get no justice tonight so a lot of people going to have to stand up and fight it. But remember to praise Jehovah, and He will guide you in this iration. It's a Some time ago, 
Um, and this guy was so excited to have you on the show. You know, he was he was so uh, inquisitive and he, he was so respectful. And I, I listened to the whole interview. I think it was in New York City some time ago. Okay. Do you remember that interview? Well, believe you me. You've had so many. I've had so many that yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't recall a specific one, you know? Yeah. But, well, I really, I really love the way he was was so humbled by your presence in the studio. You could pick that up, you yeah. know, as I feel right now, because, you know. Well, I get a lot of compliments from people in general all over the world, mm -hmm. because I travel all over the world representing Rasta and Rasta music, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, you know, I always get a good response from audience and from, you know, people in the business, mm -hmm. you know, because they, it, it, I think it's the track record of your work mm -hmm. that really speaks as they say, action speaks louder than right. words, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, what I try to do is to, you know, when I get the inspiration is to put something good out there, mm -hmm. to inspire other people and in general, mm -hmm. and youth, you know, mm -hmm. that they can have a backlog of something good to, you know, have a frame of reference. Right, yeah. right, yeah, keep it, Keep it, you know, really good so that yeah. they can get it. And Keep it real, you know. Real. Yeah, yeah, and good, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Because that's what the world lacking today. Most of the people are so young, they just deal with money, money. you know, and, and the adults, fame are not, and things. Yes, and they're also not setting a good example for the children. So the no. poor children are right, and then they blame the children. They blame the work, children, you know, because you know? the reason why you, you and I we shared this earlier, the reason why we're who we are today is because our our people took the time to teach us the right true, and to make sure we did the right true, you know true. they invested that time and that care in us yeah and so you know we're the product of that today and we know that that works right because they were the product of it we know that they left it for, uh, and it works yeah so we really have to get back to feeling for each other and caring about each other and I'm saying that because you know there are examples of us being neglectful so true true because that's even in society you wake up in the morning and this is the news you see, and you know, in our own little communities and mm -hmm. things like that, you can see the the reaction from the action. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and we need to get back to the or uh, go forward with the same emphasis that the ancient people place on family. Yes. Because family become the community, become the whole world. Yes. You know, and yes. and people live what they learn. Yes. You know, so that's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to get back to the the realness of it. Yeah, the real thing. How to live, right. not to die. People seem to live today to die. That's what. That's that. that I, you know something. I I always um have that in my the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. You know, people live and practice how to die. Yeah. Because, and and life is a thing that was given as a gift. Yes. You know? Yes, yes. And and we have to nurture that mm -hmm. and make sure we are thankful for that gift. Yes. You know, because... Um, so it can continue. Yeah, because yes. life is a non-ending process, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. where it, it goes on and on. Right. Know? Yeah, you, when I'm talking to someone and they say they know they soon die, I think I just walk away and leave that person. You can't, because, it's true. You know, um, that person's finished with life. <laughs> yes. You know, and... They're just waiting for... The other one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And incidental, my first name that I get my mother name was Life Boy. Mm. So I can't deal with the dead thing. See, there you that's go. That's That's the rest. Of, that's that. That's rest. It says what? You know, think not of death and live. Right. So that's how that's how we we think as rest. I mean, when you say that to people, they go, but but there are no buts. Just no. believe it's, it, it's live like, it, and leave it alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Some people say, well, don't you know, say, body of a dead man? <laughs> but you know, I don't know what, what the Creator has from what There God, you go. You know, so just do just what He leave, says. Yeah, just do what the Creator says and leave the rest to, to that him. one, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They make it simple. Get back, get back to simp simplicity. Yeah. True, true. Yeah, because you know, we're making it too complicated. Yeah. And because we're doing that, we're causing a lot of harm to a lot of people. We see, this, this is the whole thing. And, you know, people just follow the thing of, um, the, 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 the so-called world that's established out there by these people that they don't even have a clue what it is all about. Right. You know? Because as you see the scientists and all these people it's just trial and error. Mm. You know, it's a guess it's a guessing game. There you go. You know, we have something that is sure. Right. You know, so hold on to 
the, the sure, the, the sure thing. Yeah. Yes. You know. Yes. Yeah. I I say that too, cause when I when, when I sight the breast and I was barely you know 16, but then I had to go through a bit of thing to get there. But then I finally sight him up. True. I realized, wow, this is this is real. I can touch this. Yeah. I can I can see it. Yeah. You know, and not only I hear it, cause he, he's written. Right. You know, for, for we to know. Right. So it was it was that surety, that solidness that I found. And I thought, I'm oh, here. I am. I'm coming. Right. You know. Mm hmm. That's a reality, man. You know, it's so funny because we're, since we we're discussing that, it was I was watching CNN the other, um, yesterday, I believe, and there's a, a young man in from Iran who's who wrote some stuff against his his practice, the yeah. Iranian government or the practice, and they arrested his father and is torturing his father in Iran. Mm -hmm because he writes something outside of Iran, right. you know? And I'm thinking, like, there's no way Rasta would kidnap anybody and torture anybody just because they said something. Look how many times we hear every day people say really <laughs> rotten things about Rasta. Oh, really? And we just, all right, all right, and yeah. we keep going, you know yeah. what I mean? Because we know the truth. So to, to kidnap somebody and torture them because they speak, they speak their mind, yeah. that is ridiculous. More than ridiculous, and that's how the world domination is because you see these people are so insecure, not mm -hmm. just in Iran but in general, in, general, in the world. Yes. You know, because it happened in Canada, too. Uh -huh. it happened in the US, it happened all over the world. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. so it happened in Jamaica, it happened anywhere you go, yeah, you know, yeah. so you know, insecure people do insecure, yeah, insecure, things. right, <laughs> you know, so from you secure within yourself and the creator, you know, say. you know, no matter what guys say, mm -hmm. you know, you have to just live the right thing, yes, and. Be an example, yes. You know of that. Great. So let's get back to the music now. You just did Ami 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 Gideon time for us. Yes. So how did how did you get about writing that song and you know what does it mean, you know, in the core of it to you? Well, that inspiration came to me um, way back in the seventies. Mm. You know. That was and, the time. Yeah, <laughs> and it it, it 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 really dawned on me. Um, when I was, I, I love, I, I, I love history, mm -hmm. not what they call history, right. because as we know, history is his story, right. another guy's story, yeah. right? But in general, the thing that, um, the reality of life, you know, and looking back, they, they, you had this like, um, the, the, the famine in Ethiopia, mm. and you had a lot of upheaval was happening in the world at the time, you know? Right. And this inspiration came to me in Jamaica where, I, I started out at Studio One mm -hmm. and in the 60s and um, I had some message on my happening and it was released in New York and um, somehow it, it was going really great, you know, and I met up with um, Coxon, um, and, um, Clement Dad, mm -hmm. who was the owner of Studio One and he heard the song on the radio in New York and it was very popular and um, he decided, he called me and I said he would like me to do some work again because when I was going to school um, I started, you know, my, my, my apprenticeship at Studio One or going to college, that's regular college, you know, mm -hmm. and did my first song because I met up with Baba and they, and Bob Andy was the one who introduced me to Studio One. Wow, those are all yeah. legends there. Yeah, there you go. You know, so and it's still my bridge, you know. Mm. So um, in the seventies, when he asked me to come to Jamaica, um, one of the songs that I had in my mind, we did an album, and the song was Armageddon Time, and I was looking at a whole phase of what was happening in the world, and you know, and you know that this vision I had inside of my head about you know, present, past and future, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and somehow I see, you know, if the action is of such, then the reaction will be such, yes. you know, and I see a lot of people were suffering and still is, mm. a lot of people not getting any justice right. and still is, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people who will get compensated for the good they do and some people who will be, who will get their reward mm -hmm. for the evil that they do all the Absolutely. Stuff, you know? And as we see in the world, you have a lot of people not getting no supper still. Mm. You have a lot of people not getting no justice still. Mm. And you have a lot of people who have to run and hide still. Mm. Some of them running from the evil people and some of the evil people running from the people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... so it's that's like a confusion. It's not like a rat race. Yeah, it's a rat race, you know. <laughs> 
So I, I, I just decided to put this, you know, to pen this song mm. because I don't credit the, the, the songs to myself alone because it's a creator who inspire me. Absolutely. You know, mm. and give me these songs. Yes, yeah. So I have to share it with people Absolutely. in general, you yeah. know. Yeah. And it was, it became a sensation. Uh, uh, he hit in Jamaica all over the world. Mm. It's, it's like a, a new song every day, even now, yeah. you know. It was called, like an anthem I, I read. Well, people call it an international reggae anthem, you know, because everybody wants a special from it for them set. You know, everyone wants, if, if I perform and the greatest song just finish and I do this song, let the place march down, mm -hmm. you know, because people see the reality in it, you know, mm -hmm. and still is, mm -hmm. you know. So it's, it's, that's what we say when we do music, we don't do it like for a one day or a one year thing, we do it forever, yeah. you know, that address. All of that. Yeah. So you're so you're the breed that's missing from today's reggae. That writer who can capture the times, the the emotions, the people. You know. Well, well, not missing, but trying to be pushed out. Okay. By the forces mm -hmm. that exist today, mm -hmm. because the forces would like to control the people and make them do all kind of foolishness and evil things. Right. But we now come up and say, we were. Commissioned by the creator for doing this, yes. you know, and we come and say this is what we do. Yeah. And you, you have a lot of people in the media and all over the world that try to push you out, mm -hmm. but them cannot do it, mm -hmm. you know, because the creator greater than them. Yes. And each time they try and do that, them get pushed out themselves. Of course. And we are still here. Yes. You know, and the music speak for itself. So yes. if some people push you out physically, the music still is spiritually, you know. So it's not really missing. It's just that people trying to. To mark, to to, okay. to to cover it up, you know. Right, right, but they right. can't do it because as they try to do it one place, it, it breaks out the like next that. place. It yeah. yeah, come like you know water, you know. Yeah. It just it just moves with it. Force. Go. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can't contain it. You know. Right. Right. Yeah. So so where, besides Jamaica, where's the where's the hot spot right now for reggae music in 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 your business? Reggae music all over the world. Ah. All over the world, you know. If people might make it look like say. It, it ain't happening. Yeah. But reggae music is. Mm -hmm. You know, and no one can stop it. No. You know, they try to stop it, but no one can stop it because it's truth and rights and reality. Yeah. You know, and <clears throat> you have some people come up with some things and, you know, superimpose things over things. But the reality of the thing is, is what's happening and what can really, you know, address mm -hmm. the whole thing to make it better. Mm -hmm. And reggae came about, remember that reggae was one of the last genres of music that came about that came in the century. Yes. And it became the music of the century. Right. As we see that even Bob Marley was the artist of the century and he was doing reggae, so reggae is the music of the century. century. So, and it's not just for the century, it's for all centuries. All centuries. You know, because yeah. if you listen to all of the music now, most of the people, they have to inject some reggae. Yes. Connotation and inside. once they do, yeah. it takes your heart and kind of, yeah. you know, hey. And they might try to name it another name, yeah, what yeah. is reggae, yeah. you know, yeah. whether they name it hip hop or rock or yeah. whatever. It's, it's got it's, it's to have some reggae, it's got to have some Jamaican in there. But that's the spice, you know, it's like you're cooking and you don't put the spice in it. That might be <laughs> it's it's bland. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, see, that's great because Jamaica is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, right? And I say to many people, that's a short amount of time. We've done a lot. We've done greatness in a short amount of time. Cause, 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 you know, considering that, sure, they gave us independence in 1962, but a lot of that, you know, the, 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 the background and, 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 and the, the ground that we need to really get up was taken away. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like it was left with a, you know, a great amount of resources that we were, we were able to control ourselves. We independence was almost like on paper. True, true. It might look like a short time, but mm -hmm. you have to understand that mm -hmm. um, we have to go back. Yes. You know, and we, we, when we go back, we're going back into the time we call slavery, the yes. slave era. Yeah. You know, and first I must say that people, slaves didn't come from Africa mm -hmm. or what they call Africa. Right. See, people were brought here into slavery. Into slavery. And the people who were brought here were the, the well thinking minds of the time. The great scientists, the great all of the great people from Africa, because remember Africa was a world leader then. Yes. See, and um, you didn't have no America, United States of America. You, you, you know, Europe was was in its 
infancy. Yeah, and you know, um, so the people who were brought to Jamaica, mm -hmm. because Jamaica was the first slave market in the West. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. one of the, the biggest slave market. Wow. Right, where they carried the people into slavery. Mm -hmm. And all of these great minds came there. Mm -hmm. And most of the people who they call stubborn, it's reason stubborn, it's just that these people knew their roots. Right. And knew that they, they were kings and queens. Right. They had and all great people. Right. So all of this is in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. They might make it look different that these people is, is ghetto people and this and that and mm -hmm. the all of the names that they, they paint. Mm -hmm. But the reality of the whole thing is that all of these great people were brought there with the great things that they have. Wow. You know, whether it's, you know, to build up the system and, yeah. and, and it's these people that build up the Western world. Or to maintain peace. Right. Because Jamaica is a peaceful, democratic, government right. run, people loving country. Very much so. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have to understand that. Although it might look like 50 years of mm -hmm. independence, of independence from, from, from Britain. Bondage. Uh, you know, from our bondage. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it, the people had that greatness in them even before that time. Of course, you of know, course. You know, 50 so, million years. Yes, yeah, so what I'm saying, like 50 years is not a lot of time for us to really put it together, package it well, and of course, even though we've done, to, we've done that on so many levels, like with the music, with the culture, with the love, you know, we've done it. But for Jamaica to really support all its people economically, you know, build its system where the health, the education, everything is running well for the people. It, ha it, it needed some more time, I believe. And so I think we're, we're poised to do it now. Yes, yes. We are, and as I said before, the, the greatness is, is within the people. Yes. Because when you check out your genetic member bank. Yes. You know. Your DNA. Right, what they call it. Right, you know. <laughs> it, it, it's something that never leave you. Yes. And, and actually in there. Right, and this greatness is in you at yeah. all times, yeah. you know, waiting to come out. See, there you go. So we have, to, we have to be able to put it together so that the greatness of Jamaica can really come out and lift the world up. That's what I say. Right. Yeah, the greatness of the people. Yeah, the know. people. Of course, because right. the people are there already. Everything is there in Jamaica. Right. All it needs to do is be put together. Right. Ah, oh, yeah. see, there you go. Now, let's let's go back a little bit to the day of the scat and um, rock steady because that was a precursor to right. reggae. Right. right. Now, I remember this guy as a little kid. People really moved their body, right? And of course, rock steady. I'm not really sure. Like maybe it was before. I don't know. But I remember Scat because Scat is the yeah. one that yeah. So I guess it's that rhythm movement and then the the drum and beat of the reggae that that really brought reggae to that place where it's like heart, mind, soul, body, everything. Mm -hmm. Well, over the years you had all kind of you know um, different music mm -hmm. that represented Jamaica. You mm -hmm. know. Um, from quadrille to what we have today. As from what? Quadrille. Wow. You know, quadrille was a, a kind of um, African, European kind of thing. Mm. You know, the African people would induce mm -hmm. their kind of rhythm yes. within the, 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 the European kind of music right. and, 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 and play, oh. you know, for dances. That time you didn't have a sound system or anything of electronic device you know so this was all done by mouth and, and it was done by instruments, instruments? you know drum and okay. violin and whatever really yeah yeah you had great people who used to do that back in jamaica that this was what year now because this we're talking like way back in the you know early um we're talking about from just after slavery so uh, about 18, the emancipation 28. right coming up to the early 1900s yeah yeah you know yeah. where you have this kind of thing happening because that was the dance i think of the, of the era wow you know and it's called quadrille quadrille yeah okay you know and then you have after that now you have um the mento mm -hmm. which is uh, a kind of Calypso sounding thing, but it was Jamaicanized because it was slower, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, the rhythm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then after that, you had ska, mm -hmm. which was a little more up tempo, but more identified as a Jamaican, you know, thing. Sound, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it, 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 
it was great exercise. You know, yes, the, the, the hands people. flaring. Yeah, and, 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 and waist if you were twisting. In, and if you weren't fit, it don't make sense to go and dance. <laughs> scar, okay, so people die on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah. and some people. <laughs> yeah. When you finish, you get a good workout. Yeah. yeah. And then I guess as as it progressed over the years, you had people who who uh, the message. Uh -huh. People wanted to have the, the message expressed mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. in the music. Mm -hmm. So the rhythm had to be slowed down. Right. So as to say what you want to say. Yes. You know. Mm -hmm. We had um, ska. And then as I said, when the, the rock steady came in, uh -huh. it was taken down, uh -huh. you know. Um, to the point of you could express the lyrics that you wanted to express more. Uh -huh. But then there came a time now where it, it still wanted to slow down some more and it was turned into what we now call reggae. Uh -huh. You know, because the, the, the rhythm, uh, the tempo mm -hmm. was slower mm -hmm. and you could express your cultural, you know, mm -hmm. effects, you know. Mm -hmm. So all of this, you know, came in as, as, as um, the changes in, in the music. Right. You know? Well, that's great because um, I know as a, as a kid I enjoy all that movement and all that um, you know stuff that uh, that I remember listening to as a kid. You know, it was it was. Uh, I remember I remember seeing the ladies in their skirts because I was like maybe five, six. You know, um, turning around and the hands flaring as a kid. So I know that our music was rooted in movement. Mm. That's great. So. You know, it's it's so funny because you have um, you have worked you have worked with rock bands, right? Rock bands have taken your music, like The Clash, and and I believe another 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 one um, also adopted your music and covered it. So, talk about how how these people got your music and and they also put them into you have even into films with your music. Your music has been soundtrack for film, right? Yeah, we we, we um the music has uh, traveled from different events over the years, you know, various um, expressions, you know, and um, it's, it's been from rock to rap to, to you name it, you know. Um, yeah, Clash was one of the, the, the groups that um, took it and, uh, mm -hmm. and, it, and made themselves um, because what happened, the music was popular or is popular. Mm. And I find out that most of the times that people do these things is when they want to be recognized mm -hmm. by you know the masses. By the masses. Did, right? Get something familiar and put a little right. twist their own little spice their own, on it. Right. Their yeah. own little turn on it and then they mm. but this is what happened mm -hmm. with the with the rock music and even um until today we still do that because we we have a variety of um, different genres that I introduced reggae music in, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yes, it's, it's been from the rock to, to um, even jazz to, to hip hop, mm. you know. Um, matter of fact, right now I'm doing a project with uh, the, the artist that we got, Herb Alpert, mm. which from the Tijuana Brass, mm. uh, you know, which is a Latin jazz. Right, Herb Alpert, he's from, famous. Very famous from, from the 50s coming down. Mm -hmm. He was the one who wrote, you know, um, Wonderful Word with Sam Cooke, and mm. he did a lot of things with the Carpenters, and he had his own record company, A&M wow. Records. So um, he collaborated with me, and we did a single mm. that is supposed to be soon. Um, release now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I take the music in different areas so as to um, experiment and to broaden the whole, the whole scope. sphere and yeah. scope of, of the music that we're doing, you know, to, yeah. to, to reach out to people. Messenger man, yeah. there he is. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's so funny because the song, um, song Nati. Nati with a with a with a cause. With a cause. Yeah, that that was also adopted by what the government knew. Is that is that a Canadian band? Well, I tell you Canadian something. Rock I band? wrote the song in in the seventies. That's called Rebel with a Cause. Okay, Rebel with a Cause. Right, and it was covered by Dennis Brown. It was covered by Gregory Isaac. Wow, and, some of the greats. Right, and and then the the, the song was covered by um, a, a group mm. that were two groups mm. or members from two groups coming together from the Alman Brothers. 
which is a, a, a middle of the road kind of um, pop group in the states. Yes, yes, I know all my and, brothers. Right, and and Black Crow, uh -huh. Black Crow is a, a rap group again. Yes, yes, I know. So you had some members from these two groups that uh -huh. came together and formed a group called the Government Mule. Right. So they asked me to, you know, they were working on the Willie Nelson studio. Right. Willie yeah. loves reggae. Right. He did so, a couple of reggae albums or something. Right. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, they had the project that we were doing and they were doing it with Toots and, yeah, yeah. and they wanted to do it with Ziggy and you know, the rest yeah. of people. So they asked me if I wanted to take part in it. Yes. So we did a couple of songs together. Uh -huh. And um, the song, one of the songs was Rebel of Cars uh -huh. and Plastic World. Wow. You know, so um, yeah, I tried, as I said, we tried to reach over to uh, other yeah. people. And sometimes um, people just naturally, you know, take the liking to the music because even in the, the, the film mm -hmm. you know um we uh we we got some of the music was put into some films mm -hmm. and even the games mm -hmm. that we have we had um what's it called the i, I don't recall the name of the game what was one of the biggest game that they had the video game that they had um I, a couple of years back i find i find when reggae is injected in anything I find when reggae is injected in anything, yeah. it just lifts your spirit and make you feel happier. Yeah. So we're gonna make it, we're gonna make our audience feel happier right now because you're gonna do another song for us, right? Right. And this is before old pirates came. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So old pi before old pirates came here again is Willie Williams. Yay. <laughs> Long before, way before, before a virus came, before a virus came, away, away. there was love and identity amongst each other. Brothers and sisters always help and care for each other. Before it parents came, before all parents came, away, away. I and I always had the dream of creation. There was no need for Babylon wizard and meditation. First university, oh ye, way up in a steamboat too. First doctors and engineers, like the man they call him a day. I miss a way up in a Egypt, the world first scientist. As I and I reflected thousands of years ago in creation, before a virus came, before a virus came. Yeah. Before all pirates came, I went on. Long before, before all pirates came, before all pirates came, always. I and I of dream of civilization. I and I need jerks and lightning of the nations. Long before Proto, were you? Long before Aristotle, 
Long before Pythagoras, I and I the original rest. I and I of the weak in civilization. So doubt in this week we know about our nation. Before all pirates came. Before all pirates came, I went, I was, I was. I and I lived together in unity. I and I never, no lonely, or no envy. Before all pirates came, before all pirates. Yeah, that's great. That's such a privilege to hear you perform that. <laughs> <laughs> now, my very informed son told me that the video game that you were trying to remember yes. is Grand Theft Auto video game. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. You know, there's so many things and so many... I know. You know, people say the evolution, I call it revolution. <laughs> you know, because I don't believe in evolution. Yes, I believe yeah. in revolution. Absolutely. You it know? was all made and it's all being revealed. You know, and, and as we can see, mm. you know, I think some people might have that theory as evolution, but I say revolution because everything revolves. You of know? course. It, the, the plans revolve around I each other. It, yeah. You know, when, 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 when the blood leaves your heart, it revolves around the body and come right from back to the heart yeah. again. Yeah. You know, the whole, the whole thing is a revolution. Absolutely. You know? Because, the, I mean, the Bible tells us that he created everything in that seven day span. So yeah. everything is here, everything was, been, was, was done, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's just a matter of Re re revealing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a revelation. And Bob says, what, what Bob says, in everything has its season and its time and its. Yeah. You know, everything has its season. Yes. No, that that's great. So, um, you you know, you work with a lot of people, but I remember I I, I read that this visionary, this this young man visionary was was part of your nurturing and 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 creation and producing talents. Well, visionary, uh, as a youth man that came to me uh, with his manager, Janet Lewis, mm -hmm. um, we, we met at a radio station once and, you know, um, they introduced themselves to me and asked if I could help with their, their thing because, you know, this here she had a great artist, but mm -hmm. no one, it, she didn't think he was getting the proper treatment mm -hmm. as an artist, so mm -hmm. I, invited them at my studio mm -hmm. and we started working on an album mm -hmm. um, which eventually was released and um, I got also Sly and Robbie and all the rest of musicians. Are those, the, are those considered the greatest drummer and bass together? Robbie and right. Sly and Robbie? Sly and Robbie, yeah. yeah. It's my bridge in them, you know? Oh, wow. And um, so we... Um, went to Jamaica, mm -hmm. get some of that, you know, ingredient from Jamaica and also we produced some of the tracks here at my studio mm -hmm. and the, the whole thing was finished at the studio and, mm -hmm. and released and, you know, this, you, you man is a great, great artist, mm -hmm. you know, has a great voice mm -hmm. and great personality, you know, mm -hmm. so um, this was part of the project of some of the projects that I did because over the years I have produced a number of artists, I've produced like Delroy Wilson, mm -hmm. produce um, the versatiles, um, what they eventually call the Wheelers um, band, mm -hmm. um, you know, a variety of things, yeah. you know, which um, sometimes people say, oh, we just relax and know, so, you know, but, you know, I think the work does speak for itself, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and instead of me talking and trying to be yeah. myself, you know. Yeah, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah, the proof is in the pudding, yeah. you know what I said. I also read that you came in 1974. No, I came in 1971, so I, I kind of have an idea what, what, what I'm asking you here. Yeah. You know, what has been the, the, the greatest thing coming to Canada from Jamaica? And living here all this time, like what has been because you know you you lived here the seventies, the eighties, the nineties, and now you've got the two thousands. So what has been one of the greatest things living here? Well, one of the greatest thing um, living here is uh, I think is is meeting other nationals, mm -hmm. you know, other people, yes, um, and to 
to, to expand the music right. and to, you know, really, you know, have a mixture of, of, of different cultures, you know, mm -hmm. and to see it firsthand yes. instead of, you know, going directly to the different countries. Yes. You know, although I've been to the different countries also, yes. but being here in Canada is like a melting pot of multicultural Bird's eye view to the world. To the world, yes. you know? So, and um, most of the people I've met who um, express their liking for what I am doing mm -hmm. and would like to take part in it. I've had uh, a variety of people over the years who I have worked with, mm -hmm. you know, behind the scenes, mm -hmm. um, with, you know, all nationalities, mm -hmm. you know, so, and it's, it's a part of creation. Mm -hmm. So, Canada was, was, was that for me, the, the, the high woman as to what the world is, mm -hmm. you know, uh, being in one country and mm -hmm. seeing that see, unfold, you know. There you go, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, what has been one of the one of the biggest changes that you've seen over the, was it forty some years now that you've been here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, to be honest, you know, I've been on the move so so frequent because um, most of the time I'm out here. Mm -hmm. You know, how do I I reside here mm -hmm. some of the times? Um, I'm out here because I have to go and and find other things to you know to get my my trade you know, mm -hmm. um, activate it and act, keep it active mm -hmm. because uh, the only unfortunate thing in Canada is that they don't um, emphasize or uh, one of the unfortunate things I think in Canada is that the media on a whole mm -hmm. don't give credence to reggae music right. as what it is and yes. what it's supposed to be as when I go in the rest of the world. Right. They make it look like it's still a Jamaican thing. Yeah when reggae music is an international Astral. statement. Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. and the media here, they refuse to play reggae music mm -hmm. per se, um, because you have great artists living here and mm -hmm. came here and lived here over the years. You know, you have Alton Ellis, you have um, Jackie Metu, you have um, yeah, uh, Leroy Brown, Leroy Brown mm -hmm. you have um, Leroy um, Heptones, Leroy, Leroy Sibyls, Sibyls right? you know, yeah. and yeah, even Vernon Mayton is in Montreal, right? Yeah. You know, so many artists yeah. come here, make this place their home, mm -hmm. and still the, the the mainstream media, yeah. they don't give them the time of the day yeah. as to you know playing our music, yeah. and, 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 and we are. Citizens here like too. Like a little specialty or a little right. novelty. Right, it's like a novelty. Yeah, you know? yeah. And you know, I, 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 I am disappointed in that. Yes. But on a whole, I, I am glad that I'm here and, and could see firsthand mm -hmm. and to express myself mm -hmm. and you know get the response from the people who I see. The people in general mm -hmm. love reggae music mm -hmm. and would like to get more of it. Yes. But each time, it's like they try to. Cut that Keep down. it down. Yeah. Keep it down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, reggae music is 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 such a um, life changing force, you know, because not only does it speak to your heart and your mind, but it also speaks to you of the future. You yeah. know, it speaks of the future, I and mean, it tells you about the past, and it gives you, you know, synapses or or reasoning for the for the present. True. So that's a very powerful thing, you know, for. For, for I guess people in authority I guess to kind of put their head around you mm -hmm. know because they you know they, they stand up there at the pulpit and they speak for hours and hours and the people can't get them True. but you put a reggae music for four minutes together you know and the people get it well this is the whole thing because you know I've traveled to France and different countries that don't speak English mm -hmm. and it, it, what is fascinating is that you're talking to someone and they don't understand a word you're saying mm -hmm. but I just go on stage and start singing they start singing all the lyrics with you <laughs> you know so, <laughs> so it always amazes me you know yeah. you say whoa <laughs> you know so the, the, it's working yeah you know and I'm glad for that and I'm glad I'm a part of that yeah you know um, set of people who came and established this yeah this thing that we call reggae music yeah, yeah. to the world yeah. and, and, and I think reggae music has made the world a better place. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, bringing people together. Together. You know, yeah. and showing the love and goodness yes. that's within and people. Peace. Yeah. That can, that can embrace your heart when you embrace. Very much. You know, reggae music, Rasta, the, the real, the real yeah. thing, the real deal. Really, really, you know, mm -hmm. because reggae is Rasta. Yes, you know? absolutely. So the music of Rasta. It's Rasta music. So yes. 
when we go out and represent that, mm -hmm. um, I see the people who embrace it. Mm -hmm. They really are different people. Yeah. You know, yeah. they want all of the goodness for goodness each other. Goodness in life. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I actually, you know, it's so funny. Um, one, one of the greatest reggae concerts that I, I have on tape, which I never did get a chance to meet my wonderful cousin, Peter Tosh. And I'm proud of saying every time I talk to somebody, he's my first cousin. Yes. And I never got to, but I, I, he has a, he has a, um, a concert he did somewhere in the States, I can't remember now, but it was like in August. And his audience, they all, they, they stood the entire concert. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah, man. They stood, and he was just so tall and so incredible on stage. And he, they stood there, and, and it was mostly white people I see. And they're almost in a spirit of, of oneness with him. Well, this is what I'm saying. When people get inside themselves, mm -hmm. um, all that color thing is missing. Because Absolutely. people is people. Yes. You know, it's, it's quite unfortunate when you have some people who are in charge or in control. Yes. Try to sway the people otherwise. Yes. But when the people come to the reality of the whole thing, people are just are good people. People. Because it's a creation from the creator. Yes. You know? Yes. So you find out that I know Peter firsthand because mm -hmm. we started out at the same place as Studio One, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But more than that, I in Jamaica, he was one of my favorite whalers. Oh. You know. And and we would sit and talk, mm -hmm. you know, for a while. Yeah. You know, time and time after. And he was a great person. Yes. You know, he was a great person, yeah. a great Rasta man. I love that. Really, I love, really. I love Peter. You know, because a lot of people might think that Peter, because of his music, or he listens, his, his music is very, very straightforward. Yes. You know, and, yes. and to the point. Very passionate. Yeah, yeah. You know, and people judge, might judge him differently. Right. But he was a great person, you know, Absolutely. and a loving person. Mm -hmm. And I personally didn't know Peter yeah. as such. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know what? I, you know, from his mother, who was my aunt, to the people who were around him when he was growing up. Yeah. You know, I've not really heard a bad word said about Peter. Right. You know, he's he was just such a driven, such a passionate, such a committed guy. You know, his music was was reflected that. Yeah. You know how he felt. He was a humanitarian. You know, mm. uh, love people. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, and don't like. As it, as I used to say, you know, like foolishness, you know. Foolishness. Yeah. So didn't stand for it well. No. So I'm, 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 I'm beat it down. I'm yes, burn it, you know. Yes. Yes. I'm burn fire upon that because, you know. <laughs> and he took and he took his stand well. As a matter of fact, it's so funny. It, someone told me that you know he, they were they were with him in a hotel room, mm -hmm. and um, he, somebody brought him something that he thought was terrible, right. which was cocaine. Right. And this person was important in his life right. and they thought that this was the thing to do to bring it to him because he might you know, and he took them up and was going to throw them out of the balcony it's yeah. everybody had to hold him back yeah to not throw this man over the balcony for bringing in cocaine yeah. into into his into his into his hotel yeah, room because people might just judge you by how they hear you speak or, yeah. or by how you look mm -hmm. and, and don't know the internal person yeah you know how genuine the person, genuine is. person is, and of course, mm -hmm. um, you know, you would want to do that with someone who, who, who wants something like that because, but at the same time, you know, you have to be restrained in yourself and, and know that, you know. Yeah, you can't throw over the body. And, and, and the human, you know, is it, just trying to express themselves because I've had people who brought things to me over the years mm -hmm. and think I would take part in, in, take, in, in yeah. you know, in, in, in what they mm -hmm. think. Yes. You know, yeah. and you know, I have to just sit them down and say, "Hey, look, you know, this thing, uh, yeah, no good for you. I'll right? kill you. Yeah, that takes life. Yeah, yeah, you know, legal doctor. So you know. So t talk to the youths, of, you know, about about really being mindful of where they put their foot when they're going out there to do their their work, their calling, right? Because a lot of them get caught up. In, 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 in this behavior. Yeah. Um, I have, I have an, a cousin who was attempting to even go into the business and he got stopped along the way with this, this chemical, mm -hmm. right? And um, he, he eventually ruined his life. Well, you have to understand that when you start out on a mission, mm -hmm. it's just like a road. You're going to have all kinds of things in the road. You're going to have rough road. You're going to yes. have the, a hilly road, right. you know, terrain. You're going to have um, bad drivers, you're going to have all kind of thing on the road. Right. So life is a road, you know? Yes. And you have to know, you have to really decide in your mind before you even start your journey. Yes. What part 
you want to play. Right. What you want to do. Which role you want to take. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and you're going to find all of these things. So you have to be very careful in, in where you, you put your feet, where That's you right. drive, where you step, you know. Yes. And not that you're going to keep away from people. You're going, mm -hmm. you're going to be, you know, talking and, and mixing with all kind of people. Right. Because a creation right. is a part of creation, right. you know. But at the same time, you have to know within yourself that mm -hmm. what you're here for, right. your conviction, right. you know? Right. So you have to know that mm -hmm. you as an individual is here to make a difference. Right. And the difference is good, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And you keep on that, you know? And don't make no one swear from that because you have a lot of diversion out there. And you have a lot of evil out there too, yes. Yes. you know? Because you have evil forces out there that try to you know, the real what you're trying to do, that's good. Right. As I've seen over the years. Right. You know, but the power, mm -hmm. as I have a song that says, you know, the devil is a force mm -hmm. and the creator is a power. Yes. Is the power. Is the power. Yeah. So choose the so, power. Yeah, yeah, choose the power because yeah. the force is just a thing where force upon people. That's right. You know, yeah. the force is an evil thing. Yeah. Yeah. Force himself, yeah. yeah, yeah. The power is more is powerful. Of course. And 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 you know, it's we would see real thing. yeah the yeah. reality and the outcome of that you know yeah. because remember that every action with a reaction. Reaction. Yeah. So the thing that you do good today, mm -hmm. you might not see it manifest tomorrow or today. Right. But it's coming around because remember life is a three sixty. Right. What goes around comes, comes right around. back to you, yeah, yeah, the individual. Yeah. yeah. You know, so if you issue out something good, yeah. good's gonna come back. Yes. If you issue out something bad, right. bad gonna come back. Yes. So make sure you do the good. Yes. You know? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. See that I, I love it because the, the, the Bible makes it so simple what you just said. It said, you know, there's 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 four roads that yeah. you can take. There's good, there's evil, there's right and there's wrong. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you have to really decide which, which road, which force, which which power right. you're gonna align yourself with. Yeah. You know? That's yeah. Real. For real. Wow. That you see that I love Rasta because it's so simple and so real and, and gets to the core of the argument and just explain. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's the reality of the whole thing, you know. Well, As I say, I don't really deal with history, I deal with the reality. The reality. Because history is his story. Yeah. You yeah, know? yeah. I talk about our reality. Yes. You yes, know? yes. And it's not a story because a story is a lie. Yes. It, it, it's made up. Yeah. Concocted. It concocted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see? Oh, wow. That's great. I see. No, no wonder you, you write such great songs because. You know, your mind is, is, is firing in the right direction. Same. You know, your heart is, is, is directed in the right place. So together, you, 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 you know, you have to create good stuff that make, makes other people feel good. Well, I give thanks to the Creator for inspiring in that way, you know, mm. because although everyone is inspired by the Creator that way, yeah. it's just when you leave from that estate and go into another thing, yeah. you know, and I try to stay with it. Uh -huh. And I pray that I can stay with it. Stay with it. You know, every day. Every day. You know, yeah. and you that's know, important. I, yeah, and I pray yeah. that my brethren and sister and then one out of the people can stay with it. Can stay with it. You know. Wow, that's yeah, terrific. Good, yeah, it's a good reward. It's, it's a, a good reward. reward. It's a good reward. You know. Uh -huh. Oh, good. Well, you know what? At this time, because we we, we want to make sure to get all the songs in, because you know we just love your songs, yes. and uh, we want to make sure you you're right there. So at this time, we're going to do your last song, your final song. And that's um, economical stick up, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a it's a tune where um, really it gives you an insight of you know what Babylon, a we call Babylon, is all about. Yeah. You know, is and, and what we see that's taking place in the world even today. Yeah. These sounds were done from um, about in two thousand, mm -hmm. and uh, from this album called The Real Rock. Mm -hmm. You know. And this economical stick up is even where it's going on right now mm -hmm. because them say at the money they want everything gone. Yeah. Now we're trying to figure out where it's gone. Yeah. You know, it's still here. But yeah, the other day didn't they say JP Morgan uh, lost what five point four billion? Yeah. Where did where did I, I thought they were in a recession? Where did that come from it, for them to lose it? Yeah. It, like it, 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 who it, had it? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's just that people don't want to. I mean. They don't want to give the good things, yes. credence, and support yeah. in life. So each time they see the good things that's coming up, yeah. they try to take away the support from that yes. and to make it look like, 
you know, there's nothing to support this thing. It's a failure. Thing. It's a yeah. failure, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you can go into because, you know, if, if you don't have, you know, jobs to give the youth them mm -hmm. and to help them with their education mm -hmm. and to teach them the right thing, mm -hmm. then they're going to go into something evil. Right. And this is what the force, the evil force are like mm -hmm. to happen. Right. You know, with the youth them. Right. You know, so we have to know that that keep away from that and this is why that I penned this song mm -hmm. Economical Stick Up Alright So here again with his final song is uh, Willie Williams Economic Stick Up Oh, 
Because, you know, I mean, we are next door to America and if there's any place I want to be living next door to, America is, is a good place. Yeah. So how do you feel about the, the President of the United States and this election? Well, to be honest, you know, I don't really deal with politics, you know. <laughs> you know and, and, and the thing is, because I don't really call it politics, I call it folly tricks, <laughs> yeah. you know. Folly tricks. Yeah, because, you know, each, each, it's not just one person, but each individual have their own agenda, you know. And it don't matter how great or how good the person was when they went into that thing. Yes. Somehow they always get swayed. Yeah. And then you find out that it's not really them in control. It's some little guys behind them. Okay. See? And the guys behind them determine what they do. Mm -hmm. So I don't really take part in politics. You know, because politics is really a dirty thing when you check it out. And it can't really help not what's happening to make it better. Yes. Because they don't really want to make it better. No. 
because there's so much things that could make this world be better. Mm. A place for all for us all to live in. Yes. But you find out that greed mm -hmm. and all the things, you know, has taken over the space of all of the politicians' mind, you know. And uh, you asked me about President Obama. I wish him all the best, you know. Mm -hmm. As a black man mm -hmm. and as one of the first president a black president in the United States, not the first black president in the United States. Who else was? Seen. You have a man named John Hanson, really? who was the first black president in the United States before the Constitution, where nobody don't really talk about. <laughs> See? So Mr. Obama is just the second one in this advent of what go on. See? Wow, see what history does? And, and, and the whole thing, basically, I hear to you when people talk about the first mm. black person, mm -hmm. because the first of everything comes from black people. Yes. So, <laughs> when I say the first black person, it sounds ridiculous to yeah. me, you know, yeah. as an individual. Right. And people might not agree with what I say, yeah. but I have proof, and anyone who will not agree with me, tell them to come and I will prove it to them that wow. I'm wrong, you know. Well, that's, that sounds pretty accurate to me, so I am, I'm with you, because yeah. rest and a lie. No. No. It's about the truth. That makes sense because everything, everyone come from Africa. Yeah. Or what we call Africa. Yes. You know? Yes. And we know that all of these things that the creation and all them things there that people, most of the creation and the creative, the things that out there that people live by today was created by so called black people. Mm -hmm. You know, because it, the word black is another thing again, you know, mm -hmm. because it's African or, or we are we are created as as beings mm -hmm. from the Creator, you know, in this world. But people use words mm -hmm. so as to divert your attention yeah, from yeah. distract yeah and distract you, mm -hmm. you know, from from the, the true agenda behind yeah. the thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just love people and love the creation, you know, and I love the Creator. Yes. You know, so he's, he's worthy to be loved. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love him. Yeah, um, yeah that's good stuff. So. Now, um, we talked about Jamaica 50th anniversary coming up. So, you have any events planned for that? Well, not necessarily. I always, I, I always support, you know, my people in general. Mm -hmm. You know, um, with good morals mm -hmm. overall, yes. because that is what establish. It's a righteousness establish a nation. Yes. You know. Yes. And, and, and sins are folly yes. to all. Yes. So I will always, you know, pay credence with my, you know, righteous vibes mm -hmm. that is inspired mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. by the Creator, mm -hmm. you know. So I wish all the best for Jamaican and the Jamaicans, who we call Jamaicans, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, Hope that things can work out better for us for the as next, a people. The next fifty, for for all times. All times. You know. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it was my pleasure having you here this morning. You know, I I love the conversation. I love the songs. You know, I feel so blessed to be able to you know bring you in and, and express to your heart. Really, I'm really grateful for the work that you've done. Give thanks. Yes, give yes. Thanks. And I'm give so thanks for inviting me. Oh, and I'm so glad you're a Rasta. I'm so glad that yes. you know we're Rastas. I am. I am blessed. I I. All right. So thank you so much for being here this week with us. We are so grateful that you are here. And you know, we're coming to you live from Scarborough, Ontario. And of course, this is ReggaeTelevisionNetwork.com. We're here live with you every Saturday morning. So next week, tune in again for another great session. And uh, we're going to have uh, Dizzy My Not. So come back next week and we'll be here. Thank you and I love you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.